Hello, everybody. Welcome along to House of Games. It is Tuesday. We have four brand new faces. And yesterday was very, very close. Very close and very competitive. Somebody is going to walk away with this trophy at the end of the week. I couldn't tell you who it's going to be, other than it'll be one of these four people. Gareth Thomas, <laughs> Olga Koch, Rita Chakrabarti, and Andrew Maxwell. Welcome one, welcome all. Gareth, welcome back. Now, as a professional sportsman, one of the greatest rugby players of all time, I think yesterday your tactic was to try and get into everyone's head. But <laughs> what you managed to do is absolutely get inside your own head. <laughs> is, that, is that fair to say? Uh, yeah, and I think I created a, a little battle within this war as well, because Andrew stole a question off me, mm. and I'm not going to forgive him easily. Really, and you know, it was, he only beat you by about seven or eight points in the end as well, so it, it could have been crucial. Yeah, but he won by one point, so he stole my answer and then he beat Olga. He did. By a point, so he won by default. Olga, a one point loss yesterday to your fellow stand up, Andrew. Um, uh, what can we do today to take home a prize, do you think? Win. That is the most Russian thing you've done all week. <laughs> <laughs> Rita, now yesterday Andrew won a House of Games cricket bat. Shall we take a look at today's prizes? Let's do that. So whoever wins today, and you were not far off winning yesterday, will take home one of these. There is Ooh. the House of Games toolbox, the scented candle, the decanter, the cufflinks, and shopping bag. Ooh. Yeah, why not? Oh. What, what do you think, Rita? It's got to be the decanter, hasn't it? It's quite nice, the decanter. Andrew, how are you feeling after yesterday's win? I am elated. It was hard fought, wasn't it? It was a very, very tight game. There's a lot of smart people here. Uh, Olga, what would you take home if you were to win? Does this candle smell like you? Uh, no, you'll be delighted to hear it doesn't. <laughs> it, smells like, it smells like the Welsh rugby team of 2003. <laughs> oh, it'd be nice. Then I'll go toolbox. <laughs> yeah, I should do. Gareth? Oh, I would give anything to mince around with our shopping bag. Yes. Oh, I mean, anything. I'm down the middle aisle. Oh, man, like a bat out of hell. Let I mean, tell. with respect, can we let Gareth win today? <laughs> uh, let's take a look at our weekly leaderboard before we play our first round. Andrew is leading that, of course, with four points. Uh, just beat Olga yesterday. Shall we get on? and play another one. It was so close yesterday and such a lot of fun as well. Let's play our first round today, and it is... <laughs> Mouth of Games. Now, you see what we've done there? We've taken House of Games, we've changed it by one letter. And we have done that now for a whole series of British TV shows, OK? What I'm going to do, I'm going to go along the line, uh, I'm going to give you the synopsis of a brand new TV show, which is essentially a real TV show where we've changed one letter. OK, Gareth, we'll start with you. So, we've taken a British TV show, we've changed one letter, and here is the new description of that show. Messrs Flintoff, Harris and McGuinness review cars while flouncing around like dandies in fancy clothes. So, I, I, I know the programme you mean. So, the programme is... Top Gear. Top Gear. Yeah. yeah. And we've changed one letter so that the second bit of that makes some sense. I'm going to say... Top Rear. <laughs> now, that's a show. <laughs> <laughs> this is how my mind is working. We... <laughs> Gareth, you and I are going to team up. We're going to make a fortune with Top Rear. <laughs> <laughs> top Rear, beautiful. Let's see, is it Top Rear? It's not Top Rear. Anyone oh. can buzz in? Rita. Fop Gear. Fop Gear is the right answer. Now Fop Gear. Fop is a dandy. Oh, is it? Now yeah. Yeah. Now Fop top Gear is the answer. Well played, Rita. Um, do we get how this works now? Yes. Perfect. Olga, here's one for you. We changed one letter of a British TV show. A Time Lord makes ghost noises while travelling through space in a TARDIS. OK, so a Time Lord makes ghost noises. Dr Boo? Oh, that's true. We're only changing one letter. B-H-O? How would you pronounce that? Well, <laughs> listen, I mean, I think that this is a tricky one. I'm going to give that to you because it's Dr Wu like W-O-O, -O. Oh. but ghosts, there's no universally recognised symbol of what noises ghosts make. I think yeah. they definitely go boo. boo. Uh, I'd say boo. Yeah, ghosts say boo. Yeah, but B-O-O -B -O -O wouldn't be well, so B-H-O uh, would be... Ah, boo. Yeah, yeah, boo. Boo. -hoo. That's what, which I believe, <laughs> hold on, I'm being told that is what Russian ghosts say. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very yeah. much. <laughs> Dr. Boo. Uh, Dr. Wu was the answer. We'll give uh, Dr. Boo, but because it's Tuesday. <laughs> hey. Um, Rita, uh, here's one for you. You've already got a point from Gareth. Can you get a point of your own here? Lee Mack and co must convince singers Reed and Baker that they are telling the truth about a range of comic stories. 
I think I'm drawing a blank here. Drawing a blank. No, it doesn't, I nobody at the moment looks like they're racing towards their buzzers to, <laughs> to take this one, Rita. What was Lee? Oh, maybe. No, 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 I don't really know. If Rita, I'll have a try or something, but it's probably wrong. Shall we time you out, Rita? Time me out. Uh, yes, yeah, probably. Out. You can buzz in, Gareth, if you... So... Do you want to buzz in? Oh, yeah. Hey. I'm going to say drop the mic. Drop the mic. I don't even know what I'm doing now. Oh, is drop it, the... Yeah. Drop. Is, it, is it drop the mic? I don't even know. It is not. No. Anybody? Uh, well, uh, I, oh. I know the actual show. What do I like to you? Uh, well, Reed and Bega. Lou Reed and Lou Bega. Would I like ah. to Lou? Ah. Yeah. That was a oh. long walk for a small sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> so, would I like to Lou? But very well done if you got that at home. It's lovely at home if you get it when no-one in the studio has got it. Andrew, uh, which TV show have we changed the letter of here, please? Our heroes at Specialist Unit AC12 investigate corruption in the manufacture of hard, smooth, washable floor coverings. Uh, it's Lino of Duty. Lino of Duty. <laughs> Correct answer. Oh. Well done. Lino of Duty becomes Lino oh. of Duty. Nice, man. <laughs> um, here's another pass. This time we have changed mm. Bond films by one letter. So, uh, Gareth, this is yours. Pierce Brosnan's Bond must stop an incredibly powerful space weapon from falling into the hands of Britain's Got Talent judge, Amanda. If Amanda Holden. So, the film... I. What? Gun. <laughs> Is it Amanda Holden eye gun? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm absolutely... We're, we're gonna... I'm not stopping until right, we've okay, got Okay, OK, OK, OK. Because... You're a legend. So, Amanda Holden. So, so, we've got a Bond film. So, the answer is going to be the name of a Bond film, but with one letter different. Holden I. Let's find out, shall we? Oh! Is it Holden I? <laughs> <laughs> it absolutely yeah. is. Well done. <laughs> Holden I. That's a good clue as well. <laughs> Olga, a Bond film for you. We've changed it by one letter. What is this Bond film? Bond is targeted by the assassin Scaramanga, who has developed a fatally amusing piece of wordplay. James Bond, the series where the, the good Russian man is always taken down by an evil British agent. <laughs> um, yeah, it's interesting that the Russians must have a different perspective on James Bond than we do. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Shall we time you out, Olga? Yeah. We will time Olga out. I think Andrew wants to buzz in. Andrew. Man with the golden pun. Man with the golden <gasps> pun. Oh. Absolutely Very right. Good. Well Very played, Andrew. Good. Man with the golden pun. Rita, Bond film for you now. We changed one letter. In a thrilling space mission, 007 must stop the evil Drax, a prolific producer of bread and cakes. Ah. Oh. <laughs> you got this one. I know that one. Oh. Moon Baker. Is it Moon Baker? Absolutely right. Well played, Rita. <laughs> it's a relief when they're right, isn't it? Oh, but, it is. <laughs> uh, Andrew, you've got the last question in this round. What Bond film is this? During the Cold War, Bond is sent to Japan, where he is forced to perform an energetic dance on two separate occasions. I remember it's Connery. He's wearing some really dodgy makeup. Have you got this at home? Oh. Uh, no. No, I can't get it either. So, no. shall we time you out? Yeah, please. Olga. You only jive twice? <gasps> oh, 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 that is amazing. Okay. Oh, you only God. jive twice. Wow. That's Very great. good. That is good. Wow. Take, Olga, take the rest of the day off. Oh, <laughs> that's so good. Very well played, Olga, and very well done if you got that at home as well. That's the end of that round. Let's take a look at the scores after one round. Gareth, you start with one. Olga, Rita, Andrew, two points each. <laughs> we are being close again. Let's move straight on to round two, shall we, which today is... You spell terrible. This is a pairs game. The player in last place chooses their partner. Gareth, today that is you. Who would you like to play with? I'm going to try and build the rift. And I'm going to partner with Andrew. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's like ice and fire and ice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Coming together. Wow. Uh, yeah. Rita and Gareth, if you'll swap places, please. Yeah. 
Gareth and Andrew, what a team. Rita and Olga, what a team as well. A battle of the Titans. Now, in You Spell Terrible, what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask you a series of questions, OK? If you know the answer, buzz in. If it's correct, I will then ask your partner to spell that answer. And only if they spell it correctly will you get a point mm. as a pair, <laughs> OK? So this is the round where people are desperate yeah. to buzz in because nobody wants to spell. OK, here is your Bye. first question. Buzz in if you know it, and I will ask your partner to spell it. What is the English name for the volcano that erupted in 79 AD and buried the city of Pompeii? That is Gareth. Vesuvius? Vesuvius is correct. For the point for your team, Andrew, spell Vesuvius. OK. V... E... S... U... <laughs> This is so tense. <laughs> <laughs> v I U S. Oh, oh yes! Well played. Oh, no. No. <laughs> a point, a point to Gareth and Andrew. Oh, well done. <laughs> I said, boy, all. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I mean, it's one point. It's one point. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your next question. What is the answer to this, Anne? How do you spell it? Sharon Horgan and Rob Delaney co-created and starred in which television series first broadcast in 2015? Yes, Olga. Catastrophe. Is the right answer. Rita, for a point for your team, can you spell catastrophe? C A T A S T R O P H E. Rita Chakrabarti. Oh, well done. Very well done. Two very good pairs here. Here's your next question. What term for a monarch was also once the name of a British coin worth one pound sterling? Yes, that is Rita. Sovereign. Sovereign is the correct answer. Olga, can you spell sovereign for a point? S O V E R E I G N. Without a pause. Oh, yeah. Olga Croft, very well done. <laughs> No mucking about at all. Well played, Olga. Point to Olga and Rita there. Here's your next question. Which German word denotes a feeling of malicious pleasure derived from the misfortune of others? That is Rita. Schadenfreude. Schadenfreude is the correct answer. <laughs> Olga, can you spell Schadenfreude? S. C. H. A. D, E, N, F, R, E, U, D, E. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pass oh, out. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well very, done. very, very well played there. Final question. What's the answer here and how do you spell it? What is the surname of the lead singer of the Pussycat Dolls who also served as a judge on The X Factor? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so are we on your specialist subject, Gary? <laughs> uh, yes, Olga. Scherzinger. Scherzinger is the correct answer. Rita, for a point, can you spell right. Scherzinger? S C H E R Z I N G E R. Oh, I love that. What a team. Very well played. That is the end of that round. Rita, if you swap back places with Gareth. Well played, everybody. Lovely to have you back, Gareth. And two good teams there, I thought. Yes. That was a very good round by everyone. <laughs> that round is usually chaos. <laughs> uh, very well played. <laughs> Let's take a look at the scores, shall we? Two rounds down on Tuesday's House of Games.
Ooh. Gareth, you have oh. two. Andrew, you have three. We have joint leaders, Olga and Rita. Six <laughs> points each. <laughs> um, your next round is... The backwards round. Now, in this round, I'm going to ask you a series of questions but I will be asking you them backwards, and I need you to give me the answers backwards. So if the answer was Gareth Thomas, you would say Thomas Gareth. Right, OK. So buzzers on fingers, please. Luck good. Cocktail vodka classic which, in ingredients key, are sauce Worcestershire and juice tomato. Rita. Mary Bloody. Mary Bloody. <laughs> Correct. Ah. Question next. 2019 in Advisor Medical Chief Government's UK, the as appointed was who? Andrew. Uh, witty Chris. Let's take a look. Yeah, Witty Chris. Very nicely done. Uh, question next. Song this of title The Is What? <laughs> Gareth. Five to nine? Let's have a little listen to it the right way around. How about that? <laughs> My strong point is, darling. <laughs> nine to five becomes five to nine. Well played, Gareth. Question next. Sun, the of coast, means literally region Spanish southern. Which of name the? Uh, uh, Andrew. Sol de Costa. Sol del Costa. Absolutely. Sol de Costa, Sol del Costa, Costa del Sol. Question next. Song this of title the is what? <laughs> Olga. Funk Uptown. Funk Uptown. Let's take a little listen. Well done. <laughs> Uptown Funk becomes Funk Uptown. Uh, question final. Wives eighths, Henry of Fates, the recall to aid, and as used commonly is mnemonic word six, which? <laughs> yes, <laughs> we all wish you the very best of luck, Olga. Survived. <laughs> beheaded. Divorced. Died. Beheaded, divorced. Oh, oh Olga's done it again. Well done. Well done. Very well done. <sighs> wow. Congratulations. Very well done if you got that one at home as well. Divorced, beheaded, died. Divorced, beheaded, survived. But the other way around. Shall we take a look at the scores at the end of that round? Here's how we stand. Two rounds to go on Tuesday's House of Games. Gareth, you have three. Andrew, you have five. Rita, you have seven. Our leader, Olga, oh, well eight done. points. Oh, well deserved. Well Olga. <laughs> Two rounds to go. Our fourth round today is... <laughs> but what's the question? Now, in this round, I'm already going to give you the answers, OK? Your answers in this round are Post Horn Gallop, 8068, Ron and Director of Fun. Andrew, I wonder if you could choose one of those answers for Gareth, please. Uh, Ron. Ron. So, Gareth, your answer is Ron, uh. but what is your question? It is one of these three. So, is your question... According to Arthurian legend, King Arthur had a sword called Excalibur and a lance called what? Did he have a lance called Ron? In the play Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, what is the first name of Draco Malfoy's oldest son? Or which small village in Dumfries and Galloway claims to hold the title for Britain's shortest place name? Mm -hmm. So Ron is the answer to one of those. I don't know anything about Harry Potter. Shortest place name. I'm going to go for that. OK, little village called Ron? Yeah, oh, uh, yeah. What do you think at home? You agree with Gareth? Disagree? Let's take a look. The answer is Ron. Is that the village in Dumfries and Galloway? It is not. It is not. There's a place called AE. A, oh, a British called AE, that? which is the uh, in Dumfries and Galloway. Oh, right, OK. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Um, so what is the correct answer? Let's see if you've got this at home. Oh. Oh, we had a lance called Ron. Ooh, this is <laughs> sick. I did, I did not know that. Ron the Lance. Ron the Lance. 
Rita, could you choose an answer, please, for Olga? Mm, post horn gallop. Post horn gallop, Olga, is your answer. And is the answer to one of these three questions. What is the name of the second race in the Triple Crown of US horse racing? Which traditional dance performed on Wakes Monday requires antlers, a triangle player, and a performer dressed as Maid Marion? Or what is the title of the piece of music played before home games at Leicester City Football Club? I don't think it's the first one. I'm going to say it's the third one. So your answer, Olga's Post Horn Gallop, is that the song played at Leicester City Football Club for a point? It is. Well Ooh. done. Well yeah. done. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> very nicely done. The Abbott's Bromley Horn Dance is the dance there, and the Preakness Stakes is the horse race. Olga, I wonder if you could choose an answer for Rita. Um, for, for Rita, the answer is Director of Fun. Ah, <laughs> perfect. Rita, your answer is Director of Fun. OK. What is your question? It's one of these three. What was the informal title of the newly created government role that New Zealand politician Pete Hodgson took on in 2001? How is Luke Howard described on the blue plaque commemorating his address in London? Or what title does Bill Murray officially hold as co-owner of the Charleston River Dogs minor league baseball team? I mean, I have no idea. No. So I'm going to go for the most improbable one, which is the New Zealand politician. It's a nice thought, isn't it's it? It's a nice thought. And if they're going to have a Director of Fun, New Zealand seems like the sort of the place, place that they would do that. It's cool. Let's take a look. So your answer is Director of Fun. Is that a New Zealand politician? Oh, oh it's not. It it's would have been not. good. He was actually the Minister of the Rings, overseeing the Lord of the Rings production in New Zealand. So it's still quite a cool job. Oh, yeah. 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 How about that? Oh. Um, what was the correct answer? What do we think at home? The Director of Fun... Oh, Bill Murray. Oh, Bill Murray. Uh, that kind of okay. makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, and Luke Howard does have a blue plaque and it commemorates the fact that he was a namer of clouds. How Gosh. about that? Well, That's right. a nice gig to get, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Gareth, I have a job for you. I need you to choose an answer for Andrew in this round. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 8068. 8068 is your answer. What is your question, Andrew? Is it. Starring John Travolta, the film Battlefield Earth is set in which year? Uh-huh. What is the designated phone number for reporting a power cut? Mm. Ah. Or, according to a 2012 study, what is the least common four-digit password? I'll have to get the pipe out for this one. <laughs> <laughs> if only you'd won a House of Games pipe yesterday. Oh. Uh. Uh. Hmm. I'm going for a Travolta. What do you think at home? You agree or disagree? Let's take a look. The answer is 8068. Is that the question? <laughs> is not Aww. the question. Set in the year 3000, that one. I'd love that bottom one to be right, because I'd love the fact that someone knows what the least popular four-digit combination is. Let's find out. What is the correct answer? Oh. It is. They tested three and a half million passwords, 25 occurrences of 8068 as the least of any of them. Wow. How weird. Wow. How weird. That's so odd. And there is a power cut number, which I didn't know, 105. There you go. We have one round to go on Tuesday's House of Games. Who is leading going into our final round today? Here's our leaderboard. All the odds. Gareth, three. Andrew, five. Rita, seven. Olga has a two-point lead going into uh -huh. our final round. Play to Olga. <laughs> Let's play that final round, shall we? It is, of course... Answer smash. Point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. Andrew won yesterday. Olga has a two-point lead today. Very best of luck to everybody. Your first category today is... Home appliances. Those will be the pictures. So there'll be a clue above, there'll be a home appliance below. Smash the clue into the home appliance. Which single was a UK top ten hit for Adele in January 2011? Yes, Gareth. Rolling in the deep fat fryer. Rolling in the deep fat fryer? Gareth, so much. Yeah. Well, <laughs> 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 fat fryer.
Next clue, next appliance. In the video for which 1984 Queen single do the band dress up as characters inspired by Coronation Street? Yes, Gareth. I want to break freezer. I want to break freezer? He's done it again. Well played, yeah. Gareth. Nice. <laughs> He's got his eye in now, unfortunately. Uh, That's bad news for everyone for the rest of the week. Your next category is... Girl groups. So those will be the pictures. There'll be a clue above. Smash them together, please. Which sport is featured in the title of a 2004 comedy film starring Vince Vaughn and Ben Stiller? Yes, Olga. Dodgeball Saints. Dodgeball Saints? Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, it is. Dodgeball Saints. Dodgeball Saints. Next clue, next girl group. Which song performed by Fred Astaire in the film Top Hat was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame in 2000? Andrew. Dancing cheeky girls to cheek. Oh, it's not, I'm afraid. <sighs> it's kind of the right words in the wrong order. <sighs> Olga. Dancing cheek, cheek to cheeky girls? Dancing cheek to cheeky oh, girls. Oh, I was going to say, yeah. It is. It's oh. really unlucky, Andrew. Well done for buzzing in, but you lose a point and, Olga, you gain a point. But next clue, next girl group. Which ancient symbol of Scotland was removed from Westminster Abbey by a group of students on Christmas Day in 1950? Andrew. Stone of Destiny's Child. Stone of Destiny's Child? Absolutely right. The Stone of Destiny and Destiny's Child. Well played, Andrew. Your next category is mammals. So those will be the pictures. There'll be clues above and mammals below. In Irish folklore, the wailing of which type of spirit is said to foretell death? Andrew. Ban sheep. Ban sheep? Is correct. Well done. Ban sheep and sheep. Ban sheep. <laughs> <laughs> next mammal. We are done for the day. We are done for the day. Another very, very close one. On Monday, our champion was Andrew Maxwell. Who is our champion on Tuesday's House of Games? It is Olga Koch. Well done, Olga. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Olga, you've won yourself a prize. I wonder which of these you would like to take home with you. While I do want the toolbox, I'm going to go with the decanter. Beautiful. Olga Koch takes home a House of Games decanter. Well played, Olga. Let's take a look at our leaderboard, shall we, after two days. Here's how we stand. Olga, currently top of that board with seven. And you have six, Rita five and Gareth two. Should we do it all again, same time tomorrow? Unless we manage to sell top rear in the meantime. <laughs> yes. And uh, then we'll be making yes. that. Yes, we um, <laughs> See you all again. Look forward to it very, very much. We'll see you as well on the House of Games. I don't want to tell you what that's filled with, though, Olga. <laughs> it doesn't smell great. <laughs>